Welcome to another movie club. I know, I know it's been about like what, four or five months? Meh. Movie club, where we watch movies on Netflix and then talk about them on the internet. What can possibly go wrong? Hope all the movie club members have recovered from their Cinco de Mayo. I really didn't have that much fun to be quite honest. I don't get it. Hmm. Welcome movie club. This is my room. My name is Jose. I look white, but I'm actually Hispanic. It's a really weird thing going on there. Anyways, the movie this week is Human Centipede. Number two. A movie described as a disturbed loner is so obsessed with the shocking horror film, The Human Centipede, that he decides to replicate a, the movie's grisly experiment. In this meta sequel, meta sequel? Somebody look up what that word means. The stakes are raised as 12 unlucky souls endure surgical hell. Hmm. Sounds like fun. I can't wait to get my entire family to see this. Family, come quick. We're going to watch The Human Centipede Part 2. <laughs> so, this movie. I feel a little biased because I was eating at the time I saw this movie, which is a great idea, by the way. But I thought this movie was quite disgusting. Not to say it was a bad movie, but I probably said, Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, no. More times in this movie than I did in all those years in Bible camp. Honestly, I think that joke was in terrible taste, but I feel like it fits with the major theme of this movie. So basically this movie takes place in a world where the first movie actually came out on DVD and a man we will now call Blobby fell in love with the idea. He was like, yo, this is my jam. And then he gets to thinking to himself, hey, I should do what that guy did, but now in real life and four times worse, even though I know nothing about anything and I'm stupid. Duh. Now, honestly, I really like the idea of basing the second movie in a world where the first movie came out on DVD. I think that's really clever. But don't go into this movie thinking that it's just like a part two to its part one. Because they're totally different. In concept? No. No, 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 no. You're still getting a whole bunch of people's faces attached to the buttholes of other people. That stays the same. But in visual style alone, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Midway through the movie, you kind of start feeling bad because you see all the background story to our main antagonist, I guess I would call him. Yeah, you see everything that's like wrong with him. And you start to feel kind of bad. But then you realize that this guy is crazy and deserves to like... I, I don't want him breathing my air, is all I can say. At one point, he literally makes people. He makes, he forces people to poop into each other's mouth as he walks around, literally saying, Poop. 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 No. Now, thank God this movie is in black and white, because, honestly, it's not like I, I, I don't want to see 12 people ass to mouth in beautiful rainbow colors but I feel like the black and white actually adds a sense of dread and like sad overall just sadness to this movie just watching Blobby walk around just makes me want to equally vomit and just feel kind of bad for the guy because he's so un attractive un unsmart that's not a word which kind of makes that ironic never mind move on he was just overall weird the movie was shot in a cool, it makes me angry saying this, but it, it was shot in a cool and different way and it had a decent story, though it was hidden underneath tons and pounds of gore and blood and, and poop and vomit and and baby brains and, and just overall but as time went on, I, I, I got that hatred, but I also liked the idea, and when those two meet up in the middle, it makes something just gross. Because honestly, I wanted to full-on hate this movie, but I couldn't. Now let me say this really quick. I love the Saw franchise. Not because of the deaths. Those were cool. But just the overall story and how it all kind of intertwined and stuff like that. That was really awesome. Now, if you were to gather up all those deaths and, I don't know, make them breed inside an insane asylum the afterbirth you get from that after you scrape it off the dirt floor would basically be this movie 
Listen, if you want to cringe and feel disgusting about life in general, go watch this movie. Bring all your friends and family. They'll enjoy it too. Like, if you're looking for the goriest parts of Saw, definitely go watch this movie. But if you found, like, Inception to not be confusing enough for you, then I suggest avoiding this movie at all costs. I guess I will have to give this movie... I'm not going to fail it. I'm not, guys. I, I can't because I was thoroughly entertained not because it was a good movie it's just that I like seeing my entire family like literally want to vomit and just hate themselves for a little bit that was great so just off that factor alone I guess I give this movie a 7.5 no mm. 7 just a 7 I'm not gonna give it a 7.5 6 I give it a 6 get, get away come over here 6 it gets a 6 uh, obviously, obviously, my opinion does not matter to you. Let's see what you guys had to say. Let it go. I guess that's when they transition into, like, you guys talking. But still, subscribe to my channel, guys. That's all I have for you today. You all are the best.